Okay, so my downloads are completed. Let's go into the folder that I've downloaded the two ISO files. Now you don't actually need to burn these to a disk if you don't want to. Uh, what I like to do is actually extract them. The uh, extraction software that ANSYS prefers is 7-zip, so it's good practice to use 7-zip to extract your installation files to avoid any issues. So I'm going to just extract this. Okay, and then I'm going to extract this too as well. Okay, so they're done extracting. Uh, I'm gonna open this one and this two. So as you can see, I have this one here and I have this two. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select everything in the disk two folder and copy it into disk one. Uh, this prevents me from having to select the second DVD during installation. And you can replace the files in this destination, that's fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna close out this disk too. All right, so this is the full installation for uh, the ANSYS products all in one folder and I'm going to run setup from here. So you want to be sure to right click and run as an administrator when you install ANSYS uh, to avoid any credentials issues when doing the install. All right, this is what the 2019 R3 installation launcher looks like. Um, and from here you can install ANSYS products. Uh, you can install MPIs for ANSYS Parallel Processing, as well as install the ANSYS License Manager. So let us just install ANSYS products for now. And you can read the uh, license agreement here. And then you have to hit Agree to be able to hit Next. This is the default location that ANSYS installs products. You can change it here. I'm going to stick with default. Okay, and then as uh, from here, you can actually select or deselect any products that you wish to install. So if you know that you don't need LS Dyna, for example, you can uncheck that and uh, that would change the disk space needed. All right, so if you uh, need to do any CAD configurations, you can do them here, or you can actually select this, skip all and configure later uh, with the product and CAD configuration manager. Uh, that's, a, that's what I'm gonna choose, so I'm gonna click that. And then this will list out all the products and features that you're gonna be installing. And if uh, you wanna make any changes, you can always hit back now. Uh, I'm gonna go forward and the installation process will begin soon. You can actually click this button to view a progress log if you wish. So right now it's uh, just checking if I need any prerequisites and the install is started. All right, so the f installation is finished and then I'll hit next to continue and then hit exit. And, th and this brings us back to the starting page from here, you can install MPIs if you need them. If you're doing uh, parallel processing, uh, you can also install the ANSYS License Manager from uh, these installation files. If you downloaded the packages, you can also install the ANSYS License Manager. It, incl it includes the installation files for that as well. So we can hit exit and the installation is complete. And that's how you install ANSYS on a Windows machine. Thank you. Thank you.